Perhaps the most egregious suppression of science occurs when regulators and policymakers willfully silence, distort, or ignore findings in fields such as environmental science and health science effectively replacing the will of the people with the political, financial or ideological interests of another group. It's not strange anymore that if there is a great discovery by a scientist, it will be ridiculized and not only that, even their lives will be in danger, that was the case of Nikola Tesla and many others. Government takes control and it will use the new invention to their advantage, from scientist inventions, discoveries, and aliens from another world. Here is the case of Bob Lazar, the man who opened and spoke about the secret military base area 51 decades ago. He said he worked at the military facility that had a high-level security clearance and spoke about military secrets along with secret technology and was ridiculed. Perhaps this was one of the reasons why those responsible were not afraid or the workers did not dare to speak because they would not be believed. The whistle is more frequent today than it was decades ago, nowadays there seems to be much more denunciation of irregularities than decades ago. Today. Hundreds of politicians and former high-ranking military officers have opened up and talked about their experiences with UFOs. The UFOs are classified today as something that is official, since the Pentagon revealed a video of a UFO that undertook a maneuver that no known plane could have done. UFOs first official video published by the, the United States government UFOs are also a topic of conversation that has become popular in academic circles and research articles that have been peer-reviewed have surfaced and given clues on artificial surface interventions on other planets of the solar system, such as Mars and the Moon. Lazar claims to have worked in reverse engineering of alien technology in Area 51, Bob Lazar talked about working on reverse engineering alien technology when he worked at a site with the name of S4, which he said was near the known facility as Area 51. He talked about extraterrestrials and about how there are multiple groups, with some groups having contact with governments around the world. Lazar said he had spoken with the Hungarian-American theoretical physicist Edward Teller, whom they called the father of the hydrogen bomb. Hermann Oberth, one of the founders of modern rockets, also spoke about UFOs and said that flying saucers were real and driven by intelligent observers who were members of a race that perhaps had been investigating Earth for many centuries. Lazar said he had met with Teller during a conference and had a brief talk. Lazar had sent a curriculum vitae asking for work, and Teller had spoken to him on the phone saying that he was no longer active and that he only worked as a consultant. The name of the contact was given, and after making the call, things continued from there. Teller had been asked if he knew Lazar, but he did not answer. UFOs and aliens are taken more seriously today, today is much easier to take Lazar seriously when you take into account the information that has come out that corroborates his story and the story never wavered from the moment he began to tell it. Lazar runs a business with the name of United Nuclear, and maintains the availability of scientific supplies, equipment, and chemicals for the public along with learning institutions. In addition to manufacturing basic scientific supplies, the company also offers hard-to-find products and science-related products that are unusual and rare. In a recent video, Lazar showed what he called his car driven by water. However, Lazar said that a car can not use water as fuel, but it can be used as source material. He went on to explain that electricity could pass through it and then decompose into hydrogen along with oxygen and then the hydrogen can be burned. See the full video of Bob Lazar there is a link under the description, it explains how this car works and how the government handles situations where they will not allow the public to know about free energy and UFOs. Subscribe to my channel and share the video to keep you updated with more interesting and incredible news.